Hey everyone, how's it going? I am uh, working on the Porsche today, so I thought I'd bring you up to speed on where it's at. In the last video, I got it up and running, and I actually got it up running a little bit better. Unfortunately, I didn't get any good footage of that to share with you guys, but it is running a lot better after uh, working with Cyvex a little bit, getting the base map a bunch closer. It runs, starts up and runs pretty well now. So what I want to do now is try, we're gonna drop the engine out a bit so we can switch out the valve cover to this one that's been machined down for more clearance. And the plan is swap it in, put it back in place, and see if we can get uh, it up high enough so we can reinstall the factory cross-member suspension brace piece. So we're gonna continue dropping this out. We got, already got all the nuts and bolts out. It's ready to go, or kind of half out, but we're ready to go. It's gonna come down. We'll switch out the valve cover and then get it back up and see how it fits. So let's see how that goes. Okay, Honda engine is out. Um, super easy, it's so easy to remove now. Although nothing is really connected, so that's not, not a fair comparison, but it comes straight out super easily by comparison to the Porsche engine, so pretty cool. Um, so now, just gonna quickly change this valve cover and then lift it back up. Okay, with the valve cover off, I thought I'd just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of what we've done. Um, as you can see, a friend of mine, he machined off this portion here, and we're actually gonna machine a little bit more off of this area, but for now, we're just gonna test fit it. And so, by comparison, Hopefully the whole valve cover will be about this high versus this high. So we'll be saving a significant amount of space and hopefully that'll give me enough to be able to lift the engine up high enough. One other thing is while the <clears throat> valve cover is off, I'll show you inside of the K20 Z4 engine. The, the big difference with this engine versus the normal K24 A2 is the, is the exhaust side. If you'll notice, it, doesn't, it only has the one lobe cam versus the traditional three lobe cam on the intake side. So this, unfortunately, this engine doesn't have VTEC on the exhaust side, which limits its potential, but I still think it'll be more than enough to uh, make the power that I'm looking for. And the fact that it has this integrated exhaust manifold makes packaging so easy. Um, there's a lot of pros and cons that I've weighed, but I think this setup, this compact setup will, will really benefit this setup. and. These engines are nice and new. You can look at this thing, it is immaculate inside. So I think it has like 90K on it and it's been well taken care of. Looks like it's run synthetic oil all its life. So yeah, well, I'm gonna put the valve cover on and we'll get it back in place and see how it fits. Okay, so K24 is back in with the modified valve cover and it is so close. We are, we are about a, not even a quarter of an inch away from being able to put this factory brace back in, this, in its spot. So we're super close, but basically this is the first attempt at modifying this valve cover. And uh, the issue is just the nuts basically. So I'm gonna get my friend to machine a little bit more off of it. And that should technically give us enough to put the engine up high enough so that I can put this factory brace back in and then we're good. So plan is pull the engine back out, take the valve cover off, modify it more and test fit it again. Okay, so round two of the test fitting of valve covers. So if you notice now the valve cover is missing a lot more material. My good friend, uh, he removed a bunch more material for me. We have way more clearance now, and we're gonna test fit it again. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so got the engine back in with the modified valve cover, and um, it's still, we need to, I still need a little bit of work. It's not perfect, but it's super close. Um, I shouldn't have thrown these wires in, but 
because they don't actually fit very well, but if they weren't, if they fit better, they would actually clear and wouldn't be touching the top of the engine bay at the moment, but not a big deal. I just wanted to see how much space we're working with and there is, we have enough clearance now. So, and I technically I'm gonna actually remove a little bit more material from the valve cover. There's about a quarter of an inch left that we can come down with, but I didn't wanna take off too much right off the bat. So, but now the engine is in place, valve cover on, and we have enough clearance to have the factory brace installed, which is, which was the big hurdle. So now we can keep going forward. It fits, the, the trunk closes, everything fits. Doing this changes a few things with the ignition. Um, I can no longer use the Honda ignition coils like this guy. They're just too tall. So we're going with a set of GM coils and a set of spark plug wires like this. You can get custom ones. I can make custom ones. So I'll just be making custom ones once I finalize the position of the uh, GM ignition coils. But yeah, considering how, how short and stubby these are, they will, something like these, once I find the right length here, we'll have no issue clearing the top of the engine bay. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, pretty close. Just got some final modifications to do to the valve cover and make a top piece cover, a flat piece of aluminum that goes across with the proper holes for screwing it down. But yeah, other than that, it is gonna work. <clears throat> there is enough clearance for the brace and the transmission. Everything is fitting and another bonus is we, I have even more ground clearance for the oil pan now, so. So yeah, now that this is kind of confirmed, it fits. It would be so much easier if this was a K20 engine because the K20 engine is almost an inch shorter and it would not be nearly this hard to make it fit, but I want the K24, more displacement, more power potential. So anyway, super close. I'm just gonna finalize the valve cover, which won't take much more. And then I can finalize the brace that holds the engine in place and it'll be in place. And there's still a ton of little work, things to do, like finish the, all the exhaust piping, all the intercooler piping, hook up all the coolant. And yeah, then then I can finally get it on the dyno and tune it and see how much power it makes. So, so yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys like the video. If you do like you normally do, just keep liking, subscribing, commenting. All the, uh, all the likes and comments are appreciated. And uh, I will keep you, as long as they keep coming, as long as you guys keep liking this content, I'll keep creating and keep you guys updated. So thanks again for watching. Bye now.